So these uh, G.I. Joe impersonators, uh, I think they're defending the Alamo or something. They're, uh, I don't know what they think we're going to do, but it looks like they're trying to look like they're on the same side as the police officers. They're standing behind them to show some sort of support. So we all see where people stand. Now, the police officers don't have their backs towards us, only these people that a lot more threatening with these military-grade weapons. <laughs> no? Not that far, right? You got the sign. As you can see, we've got some helicopters. So I still don't understand this whole divide thing right here where there's uh, these people behind these police officers. At first they weren't even right there. They, we were here and they actually rushed, like the crowd. They just rushed us. Who rushed? The Sorry. cops. The, the officers right there just rushed the entire crowd that was over there because they were only protecting them. And then when everyone came from the other side, that's when those cops came with the wooden, whatever, barrettes, whatever. And they rushed the people. They were actually there was actually a little tussle. Why? Why do you think they're uh, protecting the people who seem like they're well protected? I'm honestly I'm not sure. I mean, my answer would be because they're white. Um, yeah. Black I think brown, it's baby. because <laughs> I think it's because they feel like I don't know if it's the Alamo they're protecting or those people, but it seems like they've been protecting those people since they've been standing out here. And their backs, like you said, their backs are turned to them, and they're the ones that have the weapons. Yeah, they have the weapons. I'm thinking, like, if a shot went off right now, um, we're going to have to assume it's those people behind the police officers who are not going to be prepared. Exactly. I agree. So I think if you're a police officer, you're going to look for the people with holding weapons. Now, if, what if people on this side were holding AR-15s and, uh, you know, different assault rifles? I feel like it would go differently. I think that we, it would be, I feel like the cops would disperse. They would try to get everyone out of here. But since it's them, they're not doing that. And they, uh, they think that the police can't defend the Alamo? Like, why do they feel that they have to do this? I feel like, I feel like they're entitled. I think they came here to, to show like, hey, we can do this. And you guys can't. Because look at us. Look how, look how they're dressed. They're supposed to serve us. They're not. They rushed us when we, people were just standing over there. But them over there, they get treated like royalty or something, which I don't understand. What's your name, if you want to share that? Emerald. Emerald, it's good talking with you. Thank you for that input. What was those? Uh, what were the pops that went off earlier? Uh, you see, you hear those pops? I actually did not hear any pops. I personally didn't hear anything. I was all the way over there, so I didn't hear anything. Yeah, I was over there too, and I heard some pops, and I saw people running in this direction. Yeah, there will be, I don't know why people keep running, but people, like certain amounts of people were running, but the majority stayed over here, so I'm not sure what was going on. Well, thank you very much for talking with me. We'll get some uh, more. <laughs> 